What's up, YouTube? It's Datron Dean back on the channel and Cloud Recruit. Today, we'll be talking about my experience working with the Houston Texans as an intern. Let's get it. If you guys could also comment, like, and subscribe, and share this video with anybody that you think would benefit from it, please do so. It will help with the algorithm, help get me more exposure on this YouTube platform. So, thank you. Today, I'll be talking about my experience of working with the Houston Texans. I actually come about this internship as kind of a surprise it was a last minute deal um i knew that i wanted to be in a situation where i got exposure to the actual environment of an nfl team i didn't know how that was going to work being that i went to a smaller school and so what I actually what i actually did was i just kind of hopped up online one day and just did a frantic search of just nfl internships and the houston texans popped up and it was really a good good opportunity so i applied for the internship online after i seen it I had to get a couple of references which was awesome went through the interview process which i was kind of nervous about it went through that i think it was two phone interviews and then two zoom interviews so it was one of my first time actually doing a zoom interview but it was very beneficial for my future opportunities so i went through that great time great conversations it wasn't even technical they asked me my experience why i wanted to do the internship my past experience as you know engineering being on the football team at a division one school at multiple schools actually and so gave them that feedback about that they asked me some behavioral questions and then a couple weeks later I got, I got the position and I accepted it so the day in life of an intern at you know working for the Houston Texans you know you get to the facility you show your badge you, you go in you walk in through the tunnel and Houston Texas Stadium is huge it's massive a lot of different parts, different levels to it, and you can get lost in it. And so I'd always drive in roughly around 6.30 a.m. I was always the first one in there. And so I'd just sit in the conference room just waiting for the daily task to come up and for me to get started. But it allowed me to actually kind of roam, you know, roam the building, roam the stadium. And a couple of the mornings, I actually got to see Deshaun Watson. He was locked in, it was probably about 6 a.m. Had his headphones in, he was walking down the tunnel. And the one thing they told us, during the orientation that we were not allowed to ever talk to the NFL players because you gotta, you know, you gotta think. These guys are multi-million dollar players. They are constantly being, you know, bombarded by people for signatures, pictures, um, just clout all the time. And, you know, they don't wanna go where they work and get the same energy that they get from a fan. So they don't want you to be a fan, a fan girl, or, you know, just get too excited when you see them. You just really cannot say anything to them or you could get fired, fired or terminated. And so, that was one of the things that I actually, you know, I never, I, I never even got like that either because I've been around guys who made it to the league, came back, had money, all these different things. So I didn't get too excited to see, you know, Deshaun or JJ Watt, which I actually got to see JJ Watt. JJ Watt would come in in the lunchtime and grab his food and just disappear. So, like I was saying, we were never allowed to talk to the NFL players. Uh, you could get, you could get fired because of it. And so I would never even, you know, I, to me it was normal, you know, seeing Deshaun Watson and all these guys. So I was used to being around NFL guys. I mean, it was guys that would go get drafted and come back. And so it wasn't like, oh, this guy is a superhero. Like, I didn't look at it like that. But some people did. You know, at that time, we actually got to see the head coach, um, Bill O'Brien, which I know a lot of people, you know, they might have their feelings about that. But got to see him, got to see J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt would come in, grab his food very locked in on his on his business and you know go watch film right before practice so one thing about the houston texas is that they actually eat lunch with the players so the staff and the employees actually eat lunch with the nfl players if they choose to choose to but a lot of the players just grab their food and go to the meeting rooms or wherever else they go and so they never actually stay around sometimes but they actually go they have the chefs and all that so you get to see the players every day they're one of the only nfl organizations that do that so you know as all of us being interns we're sitting there eating lunch you see jj watt or bill o'brien or uh, at that time Javion Clowney walk in and it's like man what and i will say this about Javion Clowney, he's one of the tallest guys i've ever seen i've been part of an sec organization the arkansas razorbacks and i've seen tall guys and tall lean fit strong short stout whatever you want to call it i've seen it all um and Javion Clowney is one of the freakiest human beings I've ever seen in my life. Six, seven, lean, looks like a wide receiver almost, but he's a defensive end. And so 
it was crazy to see JVR Clowney in person. That's the one thing I'll say that really took me away was JVR Clowney. Deshaun Watson looked a little bit short in my opinion, but definitely could tell he, he carried himself different. He was always on, on, on part with everything. Um, like I said, you, we got to see them guys all the time. And it was a great experience working for the Houston, Texas. It was fun. You know, every day was different, different challenges, driving around the city of Houston, going get rental cars and doing all these other different things, which was so fun. Being with other young kids uh, that, that were in school and just enjoying the time off during the break. Um, in the holidays, we actually worked on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And so it was just a really fun time to, you know, hang out in Houston. And Houston was one of the first big major cities I actually stayed in for longer than a month. And so I think it was a great opportunity to add in my resume. And so one thing that I actually got to do was I had the opportunity to go on the sideline right before pregame. And I see this gentleman, this African-American, and I'm looking at him. I'm like... I know this guy. I, I really know this guy. And I just stood there and looked at him like, man, I know this guy. And come to find out, the gentleman was somebody that had worked at the University of Arkansas two years prior. He was in the academic business, the Jones Center at that time. Jerry Jones had built a multi-million dollar facility for all the athletes. And I seen him all the, in there all the time. I didn't know really what he did, but I was like, man, I've seen him before. Because when you're a student athlete, you're constantly in the Jones Center for tutor sessions, food, um, you know, maybe getting therapy or, you know, going to a therapy session, whatever. We had a lot of resources there. And so I seen this gentleman all the time. I'm like, man, I think that's who, I think he used to work at the University of Arkansas. So me being me, you know, I'm also kind of introverted, but I was like, you know what, I'm what I got to lose to ask this guy. So I walked up to him like, man, did you used to work at the University of Arkansas? He's like, yeah, man, I, I seen that. You seen your shirt that said ACU, blah, blah, blah. I, th that was you. And I was like, man, that's crazy. I was like, yeah, I used to, you know, yeah, I transferred schools and now I'm here. I'm doing this internship and blah, blah, blah. At that time, he was like the assistant athletic director for Baylor. And I'm like, wow, dude bossed up. He bossed up real quick. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. And so we started talking for about 10 minutes. I mean, how's everything? Dude was like, yeah, man, I'm at Baylor, man. Hit me up if you ever need anything. Gave me his personal number. And it was just like, man, this is crazy. And so then at that moment, I'm like, okay, this is really cool vibes. You know, this is this internship wrapping up to be great, even though I didn't get paid. And so I actually looked to my right after I had a conversation with that gentleman. I looked to my right. I see... I see Bill O'Brien talking to Charlie Brewer, then talking to the president of Houston, Texas. And they all just engaged in a conversation. It's like, man, I, I would pay anything to just see what they're talking about. You know, to see the conversation that they're saying. And, you know, and, and, and hearing what they're saying, I think that would have been cool. But it was just cool to see, you know, Charlie Brewer at the time, Bill O'Brien, some other big wigs ta all talking together and just right there in the mix. And, you know, I'm, I'm, like I said, I, I played for an SEC football team and, you know, went through all that and went to another Division One FCS program. And so I've never got hyped of seeing players and this and that, but I've never been on the sideline for a pregame as an intern for an NFL organization. So it was a unique experience to feel that energy for pregame and seeing these guys go through position, uh, positional warm-ups, going through uh, kickoff and, and getting ready for the game, man. Like seeing these guys, you know, hype each other up. I'm in Houston, like I said, never been to Houston. It was crazy vibes. I'll never forget that. It was great, great experience I've ever had. I'm working for the Houston Texans. 